Hi, this is David Odell with Odell Complete Concrete. And uh, what we're going to be doing here is a sidewalk to the front entry. And we're also going to be doing a front patio and a walkway to the driveway area. The homeowner prepped all the grade here. He did all the removal of the previous material that was in here. He also brought in some base, as you can see here. He uh, went ahead, he got him a plate compactor. He bought a lot of tools. He does a lot of this stuff around his house himself. His name is James. James was in a previous video with me um, learning how to do concrete work at a different location. He just came out for fun on that one. But on this one, this is his house, so he's going to be here um, watching us set it up, pour it, place it, and finish it. Right along the existing driveway there was a little rough edge so we went ahead and cleaned that edge up a little bit with a diamond blade. You see that green pipe sticking up there at the bottom of the screen that is the drain line that James put in. That goes all the way to the curb face in the street. It also uh, goes underneath this new new uh, patio area and it gets into the side yard for future. He's focusing on the front right now. He's going to get that dialed in. Then he'll continue into the backyard and then continue that drain line out. His son was a real good helper there. He ended up, uh, he really liked pull starting that uh, that vibrator plate. He liked to try to pull start that a lot, I noticed. He's a real worker. He's got the first course in for that little block wall return. And then he's just going to go gate all the way across. And this walkway is 42 inches across. From the front door all the way to the garage where it connects to the driveway, we have about five inches of slope, so that's really good. Also, we've got cross slope into the planter bed, very slight. We're going to be using the pink bar, which is made by Owens Corning. It's a fiberglass type material. We're going to be putting it at 18 inch centers. It's 3 8 inch diameter, comparable, comparable to half inch steel. But the nice thing about this stuff is it never rusts. So the placement doesn't really have to be as perfect, which is hard to do in concrete, especially when it's only four inches thick, typically. But in this case, it's a little bit deeper. We're actually about five inches throughout. That's what he wanted to do, is go a little thicker. So that's what we did.
put some diagonals off the corners you can see that reinforcement there also I added some fiber mesh into the truck when it got here mixed it up for about three minutes and then we just start pumping it in We've got a three foot wide wood bowl float there we just stopped right there where we're going to end up having a joint and then we went to the back to the of the patio and we'll start working our way on out right there I was just using that six foot Milwaukee red stick which is designed to uh, use as a screed and you can check the level at the same time Now we're using the magnesium bowl float. And we're cutting some joints in it as well. I did a, on the walkway area, I, I actually wet tooled it with the joints, but on this larger area, this patio, we're gonna do saw cuts. Now you've seen a dry line snap across there briefly. And the only reason that we did that is because on the walkway, we defined the walkway from the patio with another joint. And then that line that we snapped carried through with a hand joint, which will continue with the saw cut. So everything's on a, on a straight run all the way through. He has a receptacle right in the middle of this pad, which is a, it's a waterproof receptacle designed for outdoor flush mount use. So you'll notice how we, we join it out the walkway area which gives it it's going to give it define the walkway from the patio is what it's going to inevitably do here because we're going to transition from the wet tool joints to the saw cut a little bit wet on the broom right there so i went ahead and went out there on the sliders and troweled it out again give it a little more breathing time before I broom it again that's the 50% uh, horsehair 50% nylon broom there I'm using Those joints are three quarters of an inch deep, half inch radius. But what I did initially to make sure that we had a, a good depth on those joints is I used a two and a half inch initially to break the aggregate. And then I followed them up and chased them with just that three quarter inch deep. So the walkway is broomed the opposite direction of the patio. Now this is the next day, we're going to go ahead and start saw cutting it. And we cut this, they're about uh, six foot squares, is what we're going to end up having here.
using the Medusa saw with a diamond blade. I did oil up all those forms too. Right before we started pouring, I sprayed them down with some oil. And the type of oil I used on this one, I think I just used some uh, liquid release, which is normally used for stamping. Because I had, a, I had a five gallon barrel of it. So I ended up just using it for the wood. Works Worked out nice. Here's the final. This is about 28 days after. You can see there's a few dark spots. So it's still curing because it's more shaded in those areas. But inevitably it should all be that lighter color once it's completely cured out. That's the goal anyway. Anyway, that about wraps up this job. Thanks for watching. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification button. That way you'll be notified on our next upload. Thank you and have a good day.